in Niger Republic, being Christian is fighting for your life every day. Ten percent of the churches were burnt in January 2015. They thought it was going to be the end of the church. And yet today, Samaritan's Purse is here in Niger, and we've just completed 50 churches, helping the churches rise from the ashes. We're the front lines of the church in a persecuted country. And so it's critically important to present the gospel of Jesus Christ to people who have not heard it before and to be able to build his kingdom here in Niger. What happened to my church that day was so devastating. Some young radical Muslims came with kerosene. They enter inside the church. They remove everything from the musical instrument to the pulpit, the chairs. They burn everything. We, we didn't know what to do, where to start. So when Samaritan Purse came with new hymn books, uh, new Bibles, new puppets, all the musical instruments were back, we realized that we were not alone. Our God is a mighty God. Our God is not only the God of Niamey, is the God of the whole world, and He can come anytime to rescue His people. L'ennemi a détruit l'Église, et voilà maintenant ce que Dieu a fait dans notre vie. Et tout est devenu nouveau. C'est une croix, ce que nous venons de voir, c'est la croix, la croix. Et c'est ce qui n'a jamais venu à notre idée, c'est ce que le Seigneur nous a fait. Le Seigneur qui bénisse sa malité plus, qui bénisse sa malité plus. I have seen pastors dancing as they're opening the doors to show me their new rebuilt church. I've seen the joy of congregations arriving, singing, knowing that they're now in a new facility that God has given to them through your help and support. It's giving a signal to the community that the church is vibrant, the church is alive. The more you destroy the church, the more the church is multiplying. If God will hear our cry, we pray these churches will be doubled in the next one or two years. May God help us to see more.